Everyone is working super hard. We should be too. Hello, sorry about that. Give me just a couple minutes and I'll get right into it. I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. Go, Barbara, go! Let's see, where am I going? Oh, okay. Alright, looks like we have to go under the shrine because the Shogun has something that they have to do. Go to the cave below the Grand Narukami Shrine. Okay, the... There's a cave down here? First, do I have enough? Yes, I do! Oh, I had enough to go up to 12. Reach level 13. Okay. Oh, damn, there's a cave down here. I need one of those whatchamacallits. Ah, keep going. Ooh. Hang on. Yes, that thing. I need one of those electro trees. to put an end to it all. <sighs> this is a place I once sealed off with my own hands. <sighs> the entrance to Raiden Makoto's 
realm of consciousness. <sighs> It looks like she will no longer allow me to do with this body as I please. Huh? What are you talking about? And who is she? Makoto? <sighs> Follow me. We meet again, Traveler. This body is an assistant to the One Within, but it is also the guardian of the rules. Should the One Within wish to stray from the rules, this body shall stand in her way. Wait! Paimon knows that voice! Is that... the puppet? You have wandered the realm in my body, and you appear to have grasped the true essence of eternity. You believe your present self has greater certainty than your former self. Thus, you believe your present self is correct. Don't you? But have you really been enlightened with new ideas? Or have you been degraded by irreversible erosion? I'm here to show you my answer. We are both warriors. And the dialogue we must now have shall be conducted by the Blade alone. The discomfort I was experiencing earlier was caused by the Shogun rejecting my continued use of her body. As she indicates, once I started entertaining the idea of change, I became hostile in her eyes. But inside a realm of consciousness, I exist independently of her. She cannot affect me in this way. Though she is a puppet, the Shogun has her own consciousness too. When necessary, she appears here to confront me. Uh, Hyman gets that everyone has their internal battles and stuff, but not like this! It's a bit extreme! Hey, showdown with the Shogun? Oh, never thought we'd see that day! The rules I set for the Shogun are... No. The Shogun herself is the manifestation of my past ideals. The very foundation stone of eternity. It shall not be easily swayed. I would not try to change her if it wasn't necessary. Isn't there any other way? Can't you talk it through or something? But... My form is a symbol of supreme majesty, in which has been vested power over all the realm. It is the cohesive embodiment of all that constitutes the Raiden Shogun. It inherits A's pain, the pain of inevitable loss that comes as she moves forward. So too does it inherit her determination to reach eternity. 
Every action undertaken is for the sake of resisting erosion. Determination, courage, love, hatred. All of these will be degraded and distorted by the incessant flow of time. Only rules shall remain constant for eternity. Those were my thoughts when I created you. Now, they are towering obstacles that I have no choice but to overcome. You wish to make yourself my enemy? I am your past, the everlasting law, the guardian of eternity. And I am she who promised a dream to her subjects. Raiden A! Oh, shit! In the end, even the proud and mighty Oni Maiden was cut down and disgraced. Though your blade has been cleansed of her blood and filth, never shall it shine as brightly as it once did. Escape. Now you shall perish! I can even pity The Kitsune Sakura Blossom that once built the skies fell to the ground as thick black rain. As long as the ley lines flow, the relentless erosion of time will never stop. It appears your martial prowess has not dulled. But how long can your will remain strong? How the heck? In this realm of consciousness, her existence is tenacious indeed. She was built to resist erosion. Her will is stronger than any other living beings, including you and me. Maybe. But I have to prove to her that my present will is no product of erosion. The future I shall forge will be a grand undertaking. One that will be resistant to erosion. If I don't do this, the Shogun's rules can never change, and Inazuma can never move forward. This is my duty. No matter how long this battle may last, months, years, Centuries. And no matter how many times we must fight, I will defeat her. Five hundred years ago, humanity proved their strength in battle. Here in the present, they rely on their ambition to challenge wayward practices, tear them out like the diseased wood of an old Sakura tree so that new, healthy branches might spring to life in their place. <sighs> it is about time that I learned to trust them. I understand that. But if the dreams of which Makoto spoke are true eternity, a short moment for which the Shogun does not exist is nothing to fear. 
I fight for the everlasting future of Inazuma. However long the battle may last, it is but a drop in the ocean of eternity. I vow to the subjects of Inazuma that I shall one day return. This is my oath. Please, be my witness. During my absence, I place everything in Miko's hands. B but this means that... Pass on my words. Looks like we got kicked out. Oh, what do we do? Are we really just gonna leave A and the Shogun to keep on duking it out in there forever? She was making sense. And maybe this is the only way to change the Shogun's rules, but still... Right? Also, A can be pretty stubborn at times, and has a history of rushing into difficult situations. What if she gets too obsessed with winning, and she forgets why she's there in the first place? It could happen, and then she might never leave again! Yeah, we should help her out, like we did last time! The quicker she gets through this, the better! can cut down how long she needs to spend in there, or, you know, help her win the fight? We can't let anything bad happen to A while she's in there! Oh, but we also can't get in there anymore! Okay, well, first things first. We gotta find a way back in. Oh, come on, Brain Juice! Don't feel time on now! Um, okay, maybe if we both ram into it at the same time really, really hard! Oh, you're right! Paimon nearly forgot about her! Who knows if she really understands these consciousness realm plane thingies more than we do, but there's no one else we can turn to! Ugh. All right, up the mountain we go! Watch the Electro no, Archon whenever you are troubled. I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. Okay, holy shit, that battle was absolutely fucking nuts. And I know it's not over because we got kicked out just before we had a chance to, you know, kind of fight back. But... Damn! Is this the end of the Raiden Shogun? Nah. Because if it was, the story would have ended here. Someone's not in the best of moods. Hmm, let me guess. You're all tangled up in another situation and need me to unravel it for you. I hope you realize how lucky you are. 
If it was anyone else, I don't think I'd have the patience to keep greeting them with a smile after the first few times. But you're always smiling. That was a figure of speech, do you understand? Nitpicking my turns of phrase, mm, the sheer audacity. Oh, okay, I see. So, Ace decided to palm Inazuma off on the humans, while she goes off on her own to fight a fierce battle that doesn't even have an end date. Impossibly stubborn. Jumps straight to the most extreme course of action imaginable, presumes her sheer will can see her through, despite a near-impossible goal that requires nothing short of the very peak of her abilities. <laughs> yes, that sounds like A, all right. You know as well as I do that she's always been like this. Why well, start fretting about it now? Rushed into it without thinking. <laughs> well put. Oh, she acts like such a child sometimes. So you seem to be under the impression that I am able to offer some sort of help? Who gave you that idea? Uh, is she playing dumb? She's doing this on purpose, for sure! Aha. Uh -huh. You're learning, little one. But really, the truth of the matter is that I don't know much more about Raiden Makoto's realm of consciousness than you do. All I know is that it's the foundation of the sacred Sakura, and from what I've heard, it's a little different from A's plane of euthymia. Because Raiden Makoto is no longer alive? Not just because of that. The nature of the space itself is different in some way. But I can only speculate. You're the ones who have actually been there, so you... Anyway, we needn't worry about the details too much. It'll just be a little difficult to explain things later on, that's all. First things first, follow me to the entrance. Making me so sleepy. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't want to talk during the cutscene, even though I have a bad habit of doing so. Return to the secret realm entrance. Which means we have to return back to the scene of the crime. Oh, Barry is no longer there. Okay. Now then, I always have my... 
To the outsider, the realm of consciousness is a very abstract concept. Luckily, I'm A's familiar, so I can sense her rough whereabouts. In other words, even though I can't pinpoint the exact spatial location of this realm, I can still send you to where A is. So, it's abstract, but has a location. But you don't know where it is, but you can still send us there. What? Yes, no need to try and understand it. Let me put this simply. Right now, she is surrounded by chaos. Everything is turbulent and disordered. If you try to force your way in, you could be swept away by a giant wave that sets you down in an unknown corner of space-time. This is precisely why when entering the plane of Euthymia, it's much safer if you place your consciousness in a physical object first. What? <laughs> All right, well, I might stay here then. You two can go in. <laughs> Suit yourself. Worst case scenario, all we stand to lose is A. So what's the big deal? You... Uh, Bernard's had it up to here with both of you! Oh, fine! Hyman's coming too. Oh. Well, if you're quite sure, then of course. Now, I shall send you on your way. <clears throat> I say... Oh, nothing. It just seems extraordinarily chaotic, that's all. My suspicions have been confirmed. By the way, remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. Only a strong enough will can prevent you from being swallowed by the giant waves of abstract space. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination. Well then, the door is open. Hop on in. I'll stay outside and provide what stability I can. I'll be ready to respond if anything happens. I'm placing my god in your capable hands. For my sake and for Inazuma's, please. Bring her back. Nico, you better know what you're doing! That's enough chatter. Get to work.
Remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination. How can this be? You have returned. But how were you able to get back in? And how come you have not changed at all in all these years? This is a duel to remember. It is as if we have returned to the moment when the laws of eternity were first established. Your will today is as strong as it was back then. Over countless battles, not once have you lost, and never have you shown the slightest hesitation. Had I made all enemies of eternity stand against you, you still would not have wavered. For your firm commitment to enforcing the rules, you have my admiration, too. You bring honor to the title of Guardian of Eternity. Now these two return once more to this space. <laughs> An inevitability of fate, perhaps. Then, let this be our final duel. The conclusion to that which began 500 years ago. Final duel? So you're finally willing to... Hmm. Stand back, traveler. I'm going to be the start of something new. The time our duels took to fight was long enough to witness the rise and fall of nations. The energy they consumed, great enough to vaporize the oceans and turn day into night. And the will they imagined sufficient to penetrate minds and crush dreams. Yes, you have endured. I will endure forever. Witness the final calamity. This is the end. You have won. I believed you were incapable of transcending the past. But it seems my belief was baseless, and I underestimated your spirit. <sighs> but a will that cannot be eroded has no way to embrace the future. You need not worry about the future, and you aren't alone. I know your power more than anyone else. 
Had I relied upon my strength alone, I would have lost this duel for sure. Yet, my reason for fighting redefined my martial prowess and redrew my limits. I now carry the gaze of the myriad of expectant eyes that look to the light in the heavens. And whenever I think of this, I feel something stirring within Muso Ishin. The blade that I inherited from Makoto seems to be trying to guide me, to encourage me. I noticed it also. Just now, in the heat of battle, it seemed to unleash a new and unfamiliar power. This power is beyond the limits of my understanding. This blade belonged to Makoto. Perhaps it can only respond to me with its full power when I truly understand and believe in her. <laughs> when I clasped Muso Ishin in my hands, I had the feeling that she was by my side once again. It was at once a familiar feeling, and a strange one. Makoto barely wielded a blade in her life, and yet, her blade brings me closer to her. You have my approval. Your present will is not the product of erosion. I shall no longer stop you from attempting to modify the rules. From this day forth, this body will remain your assistant. I won't design any more rules that can never be changed. You used to represent my past, but from today onward, you are me. Makoto never saw me as a fearless weapon. Likewise, I should not regard you as a mere tool. Hm. You truly have changed. I suppose this is what humans call growth. I understand. I shall become your shadow, just as you were once Makoto's shadow. The duties I perform will not change. But as a warrior, I look forward to the chance to fight like this again in the future. Hmm. <laughs> Do you say this because you have not yet reconciled yourself with your defeat? It was simply a new experience for me. One that is worth reliving. Have you... Hmm? Hello, A. And greetings, those who have come to bear witness. I am Raiden Makoto, the previous Electro Archon, who failed in my duties and left you all to pick up the pieces. Makoto? I'm so happy. You've come so far. I always knew he would make it here in the end. I left a faint fragment of my will in Muso Ishin, so that in the moment that you unleashed its full power, I too would be released. <laughs> a convoluted way to reach you, but... Well, you held such deeply entrenched views at the time that you wouldn't have listened to a word I said. There was no time to wait for you to have a change of heart. Please forgive me. All I could do was find some way to wait until you came to me. But... You never mentioned this to me. Everything happened so suddenly. I'm sorry. I've always felt terrible for having to entrust Inazuma to you all of a sudden. I should have been the one to impart these ideas to you, a little at a time, to dissuade you from your pursuit of stillness. Did you know what was about to happen in Conria? I had some sense of it. That place... was not somewhere that any Archon could afford to ignore. In my present form, I can no longer perceive time. I don't know how long we have been separated before this reunion, and I don't know what Inazuma has experienced in the meantime. But I know that this must have been an extremely arduous journey for you. 
And I'm sure you must have wanted to shed tears many times along the way. Don't look down on me. <laughs> See? You admit it. It was with this possibility in mind that I left a parting gift for you. Something to soothe Inazuma's pain. Here, take it. Before my last shred of consciousness fades away. But it is you who must take the most important step. tree that blesses the people in this moment new to the world and yet to be known when to plant it where it shall bloom she who brings it into being must let her heart and dreams decide grant it life eh is this is it really Eternity extends time into infinity. Dreams illuminate each moment within. When both shine in unison, the sacred Sakura blooms from the darkness, finally free from the clutches of the heavenly principles. Now the nightmare has dissipated, and reality is made whole. The vision we both yearn for is still further ahead. My only regret is that I cannot witness Inazuma's future. Nor can I walk this journey with you. <sighs> Do you know, A? Eh? I am so happy right now. Because my final wish has now come true. Your polearm once protected me from countless calamities. For this, I've always felt indebted to you. Though I could never repay you in full, this sacred Sakura will buy you some time until you are ready to awaken and embrace the new. What do you think? Did it do the trick? <laughs> this time, it really is goodbye, eh? Hey. So the A of the present planted the sacred Sakura in the realm of consciousness, and it took root in the Inazuma of the past. No matter what you make of it, it's quite incredible. All of this is thanks to Makoto's power. Her understanding of eternity is much more profound than mine. Eternity is a concept intimately connected with time. When you begin to touch on eternity, the concept of time becomes murky.
A place where time is meaningless and cannot be understood with ordinary logic. Huh, so that was the turbulence I was sensing. Perhaps that is the reason why you were able to return precisely to this point in time without any problems. And yet, that sense of disorderliness has now completely disappeared. I don't fully understand yet. But my intuition tells me that the reason for everything... It's that seed. Hmm. Well, I'm not convinced that it was Makoto's power alone. Without the sacred Sakura, Inazuma would likely have been completely swallowed up centuries ago by that disaster and the filth. I know you've always perceived there was something special about the sacred Sakura, but to me, it has always been there. You've tried in the past to prove to me that there is a connection between the sacred Sakura and Makoto's consciousness. But unfortunately, you never did persuade me, did you? No. But I understand why now. It was because the sacred Sakura hadn't even been planted then. Um, but don't you think that tree looked a lot different than how it does now? The sacred Sakura is within my purview at the shrine, so obviously I get to prune it exactly how I like it. Ugh, now we see who's pulling the strings. I'm joking. That tree has been through a lot since it first sprouted. We have the loving care of Kitsune over the ages to thank for how it appears today. And obviously I played my part too. It's fair to say that very little time passed between the moment you came out of that realm and the moment you re-entered it. But in that same time, centuries of battling took place on the inside, did it not? Traveler, if I'm guessing correctly. You were repeating your wishes to yourself in your mind, weren't you? At that time, I could sense A's whereabouts, but I also sensed anomalies in the flow of time within that space. Suffice to say, time added a whole new dimension to our search. Simply establishing a location was not sufficient. Fortunately, your will was strong enough that the turbulence carried you to the moment in time most likely to be the intersection of all that you were wishing for. The flow of turbulence may well have been influenced by Makoto, but it took everyone's efforts combined to ultimately help A. So this time, it looks like thanks are due to you. Does that mean it wasn't by chance that we ended up at the final duel? We were always meant to be there to witness what was going to happen? I thought that the flow of time was the same on the inside and the outside. So it was a great shock to me when the Traveler reappeared. My first thought was... Has a great disaster befallen Inazuma? But it turned out you had come to rescue me. You came for my sake to help me reach the best possible outcome. You too have my thanks. You have done much for me, and I will never forget it. Hey, how are you feeling now? My body has fully recovered, and the Shogun's will no longer fights against me. Always thrilled to hear you're in good health. But I was really asking about your emotions. Have you managed to calm down? After all, you saw Makoto in there, didn't you? I only heard her voice. I wouldn't say I saw her. I'll be fine. It brought a few things back, of course, but I've made my decision to move forward. I have to say, this has reminded me once again just how brilliant Makoto was. She predicted all the ways in which Inazuma's future could unfold all the way back then. <laughs> she even factored my immaturity into her plan. It's all thanks to her that Inazuma lived to see this. I just planted a seed.
Thank you. Today, at long last, you and Inazuma finally emerge from the shadows cast by the events of centuries past. Makoto and you are Inazuma's past and future, and both are indispensable. It's rare to hear such comforting words from you. I graciously accept them. Oh, <laughs> come on. You only think it's rare because you never used to listen to a word I say. Makoto said the exact same thing! <laughs> Great minds think alike, hmm? I wonder... Does that qualify me to, maybe, take the position of Shogun for a couple of days? Actually, no. Forget that. Far more trouble than it's worth. We will have to end the frivolities there. There is much work to be done. The Shogun and I will closely review the Inazuma of today to find out where things currently stand. Then, we will give careful consideration to the future. After that, I will abolish the Sakoku Decree. Really? That's huge news! I am no longer pursuing an eternity defined by stasis. In which case, there is no further need to keep the nation under lock and key. I don't doubt that many challenges lie ahead for Inazuma. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, Traveler! Remember that pit at the bottom of the chasm? You know, the one that the giant pillar smashed into. Paimon took a quick peek before we left last time. There was some kind of light coming from inside. Don't you think that's a little... Traveler and Paimon? I didn't expect to see you two here. Yanfei? Shouldn't you be at work in Lile Harbor? What are you doing out in the middle of nowhere? Well, to be perfectly honest, this case is a little out of the ordinary. In fact, this is the first time I've ever witnessed the bottom of the chasm. Oh, but before I forget, could you do me a favor, please? If anyone happens to ask about me or my present whereabouts, just tell them you haven't seen me. Huh? What are you talking about?
Oh, it's not like that. Uh, look, it's quite a long story. So if you could, please just cover for me. I'll see you later. Hey! And there she goes. What in Tevet was that all about? Paimon's starting to feel nervous all of a sudden. Uh, do you think she did something illegal and now she's gone into hiding here? <gasps> or maybe something super scary happened? The world is complicated these days, you know. We should be prepared for the worst. If something really did happen, we might find ourselves becoming our accomplices. Oh, what a dilemma. Should we really cover for her? Oh, hey, you over there! Yeah, you! <laughs> it's you two. So, uh, what are you two doing in a place like this, huh? Wait, don't tell me. Hmm, you're on vacation. I must say, you two are looking pretty good. Things been going your way lately? Cause I have been doing amazing. <laughs> uh, Ito? Who's that behind you? Hey there, I'm with the Arataki gang, Kuki Shinobu. Nice to meet you. 
Oh, <laughs> all right. I almost forgot she was back there. Let me introduce you to Shinobu, the pride and joy of the Arataki gang. Oh, another member of Ito's gang! Let me tell you, she's one of Hanamizaka's best and brightest, so of course she's in the gang. Shinobu takes care of practically everything in the Arataki gang. She can protect you guys too, you know. A friend of the boss is a friend of mine. You must be the traveler in Paimon. Yep, yep! Nice to meet you too, Shinobu! The pleasure's mine. I have a feeling that we'll be working together soon enough. So, uh, Ito, if she's the one that takes care of everything in the gang, then doesn't that kind of make her the gang's real boss? <sighs> Are you kidding? Of course I'm the boss! To the four corners of Tavat, there is only one boss of Hanamizaka's legendary Arataki gang, a me. Uh, okay. Paimon gets the dynamic now. A useless boss with an ultra-capable subordinate. Hey, you... Uh, uh, you know what? Forget it. The average person couldn't possibly understand the dynamics of the Arataki gang. As the leader, I can't let myself stoop down to your level. <clears throat> anyway, have you seen a pink-haired legal, uh, mage lady? Wears a goofy hat, knows everything, kind of short. Uh-oh. Her name's Yenfei. She's a legal advisor from Liyue. I thought perhaps you two would know her. Oh, no. We haven't seen her. We don't know this person at all. <laughs> Aha! So you have seen her! Uh, no! What gave you that idea? Paimon didn't say anything! Aw, oh, look at you getting all antsy! <laughs> Seems I was able to get to the truth after all. When someone is lying, their eyes often start wandering subconsciously. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. I assure you we don't have any ill intentions. So, uh, you guys know Yamve? Well, she, uh, kind of saved my life, so... Yeah, you could say we've met. She saved your life? Wait, hold on. What are you two doing in the chasm anyway? You know that the Sakoku Decree has been lifted recently in Inazuma, right? Well, Shinobu wanted to come to Liyue and pick up her graduation certificate. I came along because it's safer to travel in numbers. Graduation certificate? Did you study in Liyue? Yes. I studied law at the Tongwen Academy in Liyue. Unfortunately, the Sakoku Decree was implemented just when I was home visiting my family before graduation. So I'm a few years late getting my graduation certificate. We were taking care of some errands in Liyue. And the boss got tangled up with some millilith while we were standing in a line. He was about to get arrested when, luckily, Yenfei happened to be walking past and helped us out. Yep. If it wasn't for her, our trip to Liyue would have ended with me and the slammer. <laughs> so, you know, I just wanted to do something nice to show my heartfelt gratitude. But she said she didn't need my help with anything. I thought there's a chance she might run into trouble here on her own, so I followed her here. Yeah, just... What? No, it's not like that at all. Look, I, I just wanted to protect her, okay? She looked like she was in a hurry, so I thought she must be out doing something important. People can get into trouble when they're out in the world dealing with serious business, you know? I'm, I'm just being considerate, really. 
<clears throat> Traveler. That way... Ah, great. Thanks. I'll go after her. Shinobu, time to roll. Fear not, my savior. Ito's coming to your rescue! Appreciate the help. Until next time. Uh, Traveler, did you just send Ito the wrong way on purpose? Huh. Shinobu seemed pretty sharp. Paimon doesn't think you can pull one on her like that. Or maybe she knows that Ito can be a big nuisance, so she's trying to stop him from bothering Yanfei. Oh, if that's the case, then wow, she really knows how to call the shots! Well, at least this way nobody will be bothering Yanfei. If we run into her again later, we should let her know that we helped her out. Hmm. Alright, now let's go take a look at the crash site from last time. the people that were following you oh good thanks a lot the guy with the weird outfit seemed super outgoing normally I don't mind making friends but I've got work to do today oh so what kind of work are you doing in a place like this oh don't tell Paimon you're thinking about becoming an adventurer too well as a legal advisor sometimes I also have to travel in person I came to the chasm to deal with a will A will? That's right. I found a will inside an old book. I'm guessing it was left by someone of great importance. It appears he lost a magical device and wished to retrieve it. 
Paimon didn't know legal advisors have to deal with that kind of thing. Huh, what a job! Will execution is also part of my work as a legal advisor. Of course, cases like this are quite rare. The chasm is not the kind of place you can just waltz into whenever you want. Oh, so you do know what kind of place this is. <laughs> Who's that? Ah, I thought I might find you here. Whatever case you're working on in the chasm, I'm sure Liyue's top legal consultant can handle it without my input. Huh, <laughs> that's funny. I thought we'd established that my legal opinion doesn't count for anything when Yelon's around. Uh, who is she? This is Yelon. Liyue's, uh... Well, let's just say she works in the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I can at least say that much, right? <laughs> anyway, she's a friend of mine. Sure. Coincidentally, I have something to do here as well. Seems chance has brought us all together. You may not know me, Traveler in Paimon, but I've certainly heard about you. You're all here on business, and it's my job to monitor the chasm. According to regulations, I should accompany you. But, as it turns out, I have other things that require my attention. I'm afraid I can't join you this time. You may go about your business. Just try not to make a ruckus. Oh, that's most unfortunate. I was about to ask for your assistance. Could you spare a little time to help me take care of this will? For old time's sake? Hmm, I don't know. Depends what's in it for me. <laughs> Fair enough. I suppose even a guide needs to get paid. It just so happens that Madame Ping gave me some nice tea. I'll treat you to a cup if you agree. <laughs> Why don't you tell me a little more about how you got here first? Then I'll... Hey, you! Uh, Ito? What is he doing back here? I know what you two did. You really tried to throw me off, didn't you? <laughs> well, and I thought we were buds. That's close enough. Huh? Who are you? Sorry, this area is part of the chasm. It's closed to the general public. Are you kidding me? I, I, I don't see any warning signs or fences. What gives you the right to keep me out? <laughs> Kid, where there's real danger, you'll never see a warning sign. Uh, Paimon never knew this place was so important.
It's true. This is not a place you can just go in and out of as you wish. That's also why I didn't want anyone to follow me. Unfortunately, you didn't listen. The Traveler has done a lot for Liyue in the past. And Yenfei is a renowned legal consultant in Liyue, so I can trust their intentions. As for you two... <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're trying to say that I'm not famous enough and my intentions are no good? I don't know your background, so I can't give you free passage here. Besides, Yenfei doesn't seem to need your help, does she? Ha! How would you know what Yenfei needs? What, are you two joined at the hip or something? Right. Anyway, I don't need to be a mind reader to see that. In any case, as a visitor from Inazuma, I'd suggest you defer to a local when in doubt. Stick to the local rules and keep yourself out of trouble. Don't! <coughs> Why, you! Please, try not to be so impulsive. She is right, you know. Uh-oh. Things are starting to get a little heated here. Oh, not good. He really shouldn't start butting heads with Yelon. It's true that we don't know anything about the unique conditions of this place. So we'll heed your advice and leave immediately. But if this really is a dangerous area, seriously, you should put up a sign. Thanks for the suggestion. I'll consider it. Oh yeah? And what if we don't leave, hmm? Boss! Then, I'm afraid things might get... unpleasant. Is that so? You really think you can take the two of us? Wow. <laughs> Gotta admit, I like your optimism. Although you're friends with the Traveler and Yenfei, I'd still suggest you heed my warning. <laughs> Thanks for that, but, uh, too bad I'm not buying it. If you're so strong, then why don't you show me what you got? Hold on, boss. There's no need to start a fight here. Oh, no. I'm going in whether she likes it or not. <laughs> you think I was joking around, huh? Oh, no. These two are about to go at it. <laughs> Please, wait a minute, you two. This whole thing started because of me. Why don't you just save me the embarrassment and just... Huh? Uh oh it's a... Ah! Hey, stop trying to change the subject. I'm gonna... Uh, uh, uh-huh. my books under me to break the fall didn't help at all. <sighs> this place... Where are we? Uh, I'm gonna feel that in the morning. <sighs> hey, Shinobu, Traveler, and my savior, is everyone okay? <sighs> Well, this is an unfortunate turn of events. Hey, so, uh, how far down did we fall? Hmm. It seems the ground collapsed during our little confrontation up there. Perhaps because we triggered the elemental forces. Well, don't look at me. If you weren't so rude, maybe I wouldn't have gotten mad. <sighs> Who can put up with that kind of dude? It's my duty to stop intruders from breaking into important places. If telling the truth sounds rude, 
And I'm afraid you're just a little too fragile. Hey, life's too short to give in all the time. Boss, I'm afraid you're not going to win this argument. I suggest we stop provoking her. Hey, whose side are you on here? I'm simply pointing out the facts. I understand how you feel, but you're making my life difficult by starting random fights with everyone. <laughs> Looks like Ito can't argue against either Yelon or Shinobu. He's in a real tough spot. Uh, hey! What do you mean? Don't you dare compare Paimon to Ito! Whoa, whoa! What do you mean? You looking for a fight too? Everyone knows you're a bit of an idiot. You calling me an idiot? Oh, yeah? Well, you're a... a puny little flying lavender melon, ha! Flying lavender melon? Oh, that's it! Paimon's mad! Time to give you an ugly nickname! Uh, Bullchucker! Hmm. You better mind your manners, Bullchucker! We seem to be a long way down from where we fell. It's impossible to see what's going on up above. <sighs> it's unlikely we'll be able to climb back up that far. We'll need to find another way. I'm sorry to interrupt your lovely little chat here, but I think there's something you may need to know. The chasm is regarded as a mysterious area in Liyue. It was sealed off for years due to a mining accident. Whatever goes on down here, I suggest you remember this. You didn't see anything, you didn't hear anything, and you're not gonna ask any questions. Save you from getting caught up in things you shouldn't know about. I won't treat you as hostiles, and in exchange, I hope you won't make things difficult when it comes to keeping secrets. I'll do what I can to find a way out. Huh? Well, where does she think she's going? Like she said, to search for an exit. Chances are that Yelon is the best among us at survival and handling emergencies. We should just let her go. I'm afraid I must apologize. I don't typically disclose details of a client's will to third parties, which is why I couldn't tell you the truth. <sighs> I'm sorry. I came to the chasm in search of the Fantastic Compass, which is mentioned in the will. Many years ago, my client gave this magical device to someone ambitious, hoping that it'd be handy in times of need. According to an eyewitness account, the person who received the device took it into the chasm and has been missing ever since. Throughout history, many wars have been fought in the vicinity of the chasm. Even if that person died in one of the wars, I still wish to do my utmost and find the device and fulfill the client's wish. Yelon's words of caution were not unwarranted. There are dangers lurking in the chasm. I'm sure you've all realized that by now. Given that we're all caught in this mess, let's try to find a way out together. Whatever you say, my savior, I'll do whatever you ask. From now on, we're a team, all of us. And as for that big jerk, well, I guess that includes her too. You said Yelon works for the Ministry of Civil Affairs, huh? Paimon can tell she's tougher than most, but wow. Her job sounds demanding! Well, that's what she tells outsiders. I can't disclose too much about her identity, but I'd say she's the only person who can handle this type of work. What kind of lame job would have someone go out to the middle of nowhere? Oh, Paima knows! An adventurer! Did Paimon say something wrong? That's literally what the two of us do, isn't it?
her by association, okay? Yeah, she's got a point, Traveler. You're Paimon's boss. Take it from me. As a great leader, you should learn to be a little more generous. You know, let your sidekick share some of the glory. Ugh, you really don't understand anything about us. Paimon, don't take him too seriously. He's just joking. Ugh, for the sake of Shinobu, fine. <laughs> I'm the boss, so I'll let it slide. Hmm. Perhaps this was another sealed location, but an undocumented one. What could be in here? I've got some food and water on me. If anyone needs some, just let me know. Great! You know, Bull Checker, you may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but your subordinate here seems super capable and reliable. <laughs> I know. Isn't she the best? What? Hey! I am too a sharp tool! There seems to be an entrance up ahead, with a path inside. Wonder where it leads to? Well, let's go take a look. Main entrance in a place like this. If there's a way in, then there's a way out. Let's go and take a look. The rocks here seem to be old Liyue mountain rocks. They're similar to what I've seen in books. This domain must have existed for quite some time now. <laughs> What's that sound? <sighs> Conqueror of Demons? What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, uh, I came down from above. Uh, I heard a noise, so I followed it here. So you're not here by accident. Hmm. Wanna team up? No, I have something else to do. I'm looking for someone. You shouldn't be here. I would urge you to go back as soon as possible. Well, that's show for you. Shows up without a warning and disappears without a trace. Huh. That guy looked pretty tough. Maybe almost as tough as me. Seems like a solid dude. Seriously, Bull Checker? Where do you get your confidence from? Should we really be letting him go off on his own? He wouldn't listen, no matter how much you tried to talk him out of it. He is super tough, though, so don't worry about him. Everyone, keep your eyes and ears peeled from here on out. We don't know what lies ahead, so we have to be ready for anything. Oh, look, I'm happy to say we're all on the same team and everything, but, uh, could you cut the little speeches and the whole follow the leader act? I, for one, think I should be able to look after myself. Boss! Ugh, okay, okay. Besides, Yelan is just looking out for everyone. You know, Bullchucker, you're a guest here, so maybe try to get along with everyone. Ha! Please, you're not a local either, Flying Lavender Melon. So stop trying to sound like one. <laughs>
Labyrinths like this are unique to Liyue. Wow. This place is actually pretty cool. If we weren't in such a hurry to get out, we could kick back and enjoy the scenery a little. Remind Paimon of the Adepti domains we've been to before. Could there be an Adeptus here?
Yes. Begin. Oh, so sorry. Swirl, mark two. Shut up the flame. Dodge this. Absorption.
Wh huh? Wait, this ain't right. Uh, uh, how did we end up back here? So we've been here already? Yes, this is exactly where we started. But we couldn't have taken a wrong turn. We were headed in the same direction the entire time. We never turned around. Yes, that's what I thought, too. Traveler, we were going the right way, weren't we? How strange! There's a legend in Inazuma about a merchant who was tricked by a Bake Danuki one evening and kept circling around the same place the whole night. Even by dawn, they still hadn't found a way out. Yeah, Pylon's heard that one before, too. So we're all familiar with the story then? Good, because I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to us right now. But fear not, I happen to have a certain sidekick who can exercise yokai and spirits and whatnot. Let me summon him real quick. Unbelievable. And only who's friends with an exorcist? Huh. What an open-minded guy. For the boss, ignorance is a virtue. You're up, Ushi. Go get that spirit. <laughs> this is Ushi, an auxiliary member of the Artaki gang. <laughs> oh, Ushi says hello, everyone. You can just call him Ushi or Beefcake. Yeah, he's got a keen sense of direction, so I'll let him lead the way. <laughs> I didn't know gangs could have auxiliary members. This does not have the trappings of something that's gonna work. <laughs> You're telling me. All right, go, Ushi. Go find us a way out of here. <laughs> Huh? What's that? Oh, really? Oh, no way. What's wrong? Ushi says he searched everywhere, but there's no exit. That doesn't add up. If we were able to come in, then there must be a way to get out. Here, let me take another look. Has anyone else noticed this? We initially thought we fell here from above. At that time, there was a way out high overhead. But now... It seems even that exit has disappeared. Inexplicable, if you ask me. It seems there's more than meets the eye with these underground structures. Hmm. I'm gonna take another look around. Everywhere we look, there are just more and more rocks! Uh, maybe we've just misremembered. Maybe this isn't the place we started from. What? You scared now? No, Paimon's super brave. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, Ushi also thinks you're scared. It's okay, don't be scared to admit you're, uh, <laughs> scared. You've got us here to protect you. We can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs. Let's keep looking for a way out. Shinobu, you stay here with my precious savior. I'll take the traveler and Paimon with me. Got it. Be careful, everyone. Please, there's no need to keep calling me savior, just... Yenfei is fine. Mr. Arataki, it seems that as the head of the Arataki gang, you possess a strong sense of leadership. Ah, too kind, too kind. And just call me Ito. Since we're a team now, we should have each other's backs. Uh, Paimon, if you feel scared again, I can cover your eyes for you. <sighs> Seems there's really no way out. <sighs> I can't shake the feeling that there's something off about this place. Boss, did you guys find anything over there?
Not only that, I could have sworn I saw some shadows moving a second ago. <sighs> this place better not be haunted. Probably not the right time to ask this, but Paimon just can't help it. Ito, you're an Oni. Doesn't that kind of mean everywhere you go is haunted? Uh, no, ignore the red horns, okay? I I'm talking about spooky, floaty ghosts. Now you see them, now you don't kind of haunted. Uh, Ito, are you afraid of ghosts? Oh no, boss, you've been found out. What? Me? <laughs> no way! What, are you kidding? <laughs> Stop choking around. Uh, seriously, though. <laughs> Looking at you, Paimon suddenly doesn't feel scared anymore. Hey, Bullchucker, if you're scared, Paimon can cover your eyes for you. Uh, maybe I should make better use of my time. Add a little salt and some pepper. Yeah, roasted lavender melon is delicious. You can try some when it's done. All right, there are two types, sweet and savory. Which would you prefer? You can try them both, then. It's important that we remain calm, especially when we're in the throes of a tough situation like this. If I'm reading the situation correctly, there seems to be some secret here that the boss and I are not supposed to know about. But don't worry. I'll distract the boss while you discuss things with the others. Oh, I thought I smelled something cooking. Would you like some, Yenfei? Thank you, but I'm not hungry. You guys go ahead. Oh, and by the way, I haven't seen you in a while, Shinobu. Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? The last time I saw you was when you taught one of my classes as a substitute while I was studying in Liyue. Substitute teacher? Ah, yes, now I remember. It was during winter, wasn't it? Yes, I remember everyone said your lecture was very interesting. Now that I think about it, I should call you Senpai. Ooh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> <sighs> Who would have ever guessed that we'd get caught up in such a dilemma together? It must be fate. Not only that, She's funny and engaging while she speaks. Needless to say, she's very popular among the students. <laughs> oh, I'm flattered. <sighs> I see everyone is still here. Yelon, we split into groups and searched the area, but there are no signs of any way out. How about you? Did you manage to find anything? No. And, though I'd prefer not to say it, We'd better mentally prepare ourselves. If we can't find a way out, we may be stuck underground for some time. <sighs> I think you might be right. I understand. Hmm. An underground space with an entrance but no exit. It just doesn't make any sense. I'll figure something out. Just give me some time. 
If anyone happens to find a potential exit, please be sure to take every precaution before exploring further. Hey, Traveler! What's with the serious face? Do you have a plan? Response! Paimon thought Xiao would come no matter where we are! Oh no, does that mean even Xiao can't sense our presence here? That's it. I want to take another look. And this time, I, Arataki, the one and only, will... Boss! Whoa, whoa. What's up, Sourpuss? Time for some roasted lavender melon. Huh? We're trapped in a life-and-death situation underground, and you're telling me it's time for roasted lavender melon? <laughs> Interesting. You hear that? Ushi says you're completely right. Wait, hold on. Whose side are you on, Beefcake? It's important to stay replenished. We must keep our energy and morale up in preparation for facing the unknown. Even Ushi knows that. Fine, you two are... Hey, are you already eating? Well, hold on, is it still warm? <laughs> oh, that does smell good. Hmm. Fine, yeah, 
yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll have a quick snack and then we'll, uh, and then we'll keep looking for a way out. Hey, don't eat them all, leave a couple for me! Everyone is working super hard. We should be too. could have ever guessed we'd get trapped in a place like this. It's quite the predicament. For all the studying I've done in my life, all I know is how to land people in prison. I don't know the first thing about breaking out of one. I've even made a contract with my father to live a happy life. I can't give up hope now. Try and stay positive. At least I've explored a new place and seen more of the world while reuniting with some old friends. <laughs> Yeah, there's still a silver lining, I guess. Our situation is grim. There doesn't appear to be a way out for now. We should be prepared to stay for a while. Fortunately, we don't seem to lack supplies, and even our motley crew has people who can keep their cool when the stakes are high. Just focus on taking care of yourselves. I'll figure out the rest. <laughs> Are you tired? Try my new spicy...
Oh, Paimon longs to stretch her legs and run free in the world outside again! Oh, all right. Fly free, then. Basically, Paimon just wants out of here. Just a day? No, it feels like we've been down here for months. Uh, maybe not months, but at least like 20 days, surely. Yo, yo. Thought I heard you chatting over here. Oh, hey, Bullchucker. Well, everyone, I just completed another survey of the surrounding area. Still nothing has changed today. Here, have some water and take a rest. Thank you, Shinobu. <sighs> It's easy to forget to keep hydrated down here. Ugh, out! I want out! All I want is to cruise the streets and have beetle fights again. Boss, remember there's your image to consider. But it's so boring. Walking around this hole every day, I, if only I could slurp some ramen and see the beautiful flowers again. Ramen? Wait a minute. Speaking of ramen, Traveler, are you hungry? I'm not hungry either, but let me pose the question this way. Who is the biggest eater among us? It's definitely not me. Hey, what's everybody looking at me for? Well, it's definitely not me. If anyone, it's this one right here. Huh? Well, what are you looking at Paimon for? Paimon, are you hungry? Um, no. Paimon's not hungry. Why do you ask? Huh, if that's the case... Huh? What, 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 what am I missing here? Yes, I heard that too, as I was walking over. The question is, how can you not feel hungry, even after 20 days? That's also strange. Of course, everyone has different perceptions of the passage of time, but how could one person feel like it's only been one day and someone else 20 days? Yeah, now that you mention it, I feel like we've been here three, four, five days, but I don't feel hungry or thirsty at all. Although I cooked some food, it wasn't because I was hungry. I just wanted to keep our spirits up. I was planning on saving our rations so we could survive a few more days. But I haven't really felt hungry since. Now that I think about it, not only am I not hungry, but I don't feel any real signs of fatigue either. Whether I sleep or not doesn't seem to have any effect on how I feel. Yes, I concur. Resting doesn't make me feel more refreshed, and staying awake doesn't make me any more tired. Very peculiar. It's almost as if our physical state has been suspended. Oh, the more you say, the scarier it sounds. Paimon doesn't even want to think about it. Huh? What's wrong, Traveler? Did you think of something? That's pretty weird. Sounds like the little dude must be in danger. But he is an Adeptus. This kind of situation should be no trouble for him. I fear that this problem underground is bigger than we thought. I found something, everyone. I just discovered a new path over there that seems to lead to an unknown area. You mean a way out? Oh, finally! Oh, please, please be the exit! 
I still suspect things can't be that simple. We should all stay prepared for whatever comes. Huh? Paimon doesn't see anything out of the ordinary here. Appearances can be deceiving. As I was examining the wall just now, I noticed there was something unusual about this stone. Seems to me that it's been created using some illusory magic. Hidden behind it lies a passageway. Whoa! So there really is a path behind here! Had to hand it to ya. That sure wasn't easy to find. But at least we can finally get out of here. Miss Yelon's determination and eye for detail are certainly impressive. Not to mention, you've hardly had any rest the whole time we've been trapped here. It doesn't matter. I'm not tired. <sighs> well, given we're already here, we might as well go in and explore. Right behind ya! Paimon can't wait to get out of this place!
Everyone is working super hard. We should be too. Lucy, is that you? Hey, did anyone else just hear that voice? It sounded super creepy. No. This would hit me. Top fight. Is some sort of battle taking place here? I wonder who could be involved. Oh, no! 
No, it's still alive. Why would you become like this? I won't attack you. That sounds like Shell. Could he be in trouble? Whoa, sounds like someone forgot to invite us to the fight. Let's go and help him. Yeah, but how are we gonna find him?
dance, dance. Dodge this. Push 
your luck. What was that? Oh, it's gone. Can I go take a look?
that little dude called Xiao down there? We gotta help him. Hold on. Something's not right here. What's this? It appears to be a small fissure. What can you possibly find inside? It can't be a living person, can it? <laughs> <gasps> Conqueror of demons? Xiao, is that you? Uh, oh, I quit trying to scare us, okay? Huh? Wait, is this some kind of illusion? Paimon can't touch him! Conqueror of demons, can you hear us? Hello! Little dude! Anyone home? He isn't responding. What's going on here? You... Oh, he finally said something! Oh! We followed your voice and found you here, but it's kind of strange. We can't touch you. How did you become an illusion? <sighs> An illusion? Talk about a coincidence. We were just thinking you went missing and stuff, and then we heard the sound of you fighting. Pretty lucky we found you, if you ask me. <laughs> you didn't get hurt, did you? A coincidence? Wait. Something's not right. <coughs> Something's wrong with this domain. Leave now! Get out of there! If he can... We should have him regroup with us as soon as possible. Tell us what happened, and where you are now. We'll come find you immediately. No. Your safety is the top priority. It seems this space can... Huh? He disappeared. Where'd he go? It sounded like he might be injured. We need to go help him. It seems the only option we have to explore any further is through that entrance over there. Ha! He's injured and telling us to be careful? It's not like we're in any danger here. Anyway, the secret behind whatever's going on should be in this cave, right? Don't worry, little dude. Ito's on the way! Boss, please don't go charging ahead. You're an Oni, not some hunting dog. Don't worry! I'm invincible! Oh, my butt! Looks pretty deep. Be careful, everyone. <sighs> 